Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh ladies and gentlemen uh, welcome back today as I said initially in my last video I will be, will be taking uh, the aerodynamics of flight insha'Allah هذا الإشارة كبيرة على طول ما في الدوار insha'Allah Let's get this and gentlemen uh, aerodynamics of flight is slightly related to uh, aerodynamical decision making uh, which I did it long time ago I discussed uh, the four major forces acting upon an aircraft and this afternoon, inshallah, we are going to discuss it, which is part of the aeronautical aerodynamics of flight. Now, the aerodynamics of flight analyzes the impact on design, mass, load factors, and gravity on an aircraft. However, the four major fo forces acting upon an aircraft are the thrust force, uh, width, lift, and drag. The, th the thrust force is produced by the propeller or plant. The drag force is produced by the disruption of airflow by the wings and other object, object as well. Uh, the lift is produced by the by the dynamic effect of air on an airfoil and also uh, the lift the width is the main uh, basically the main width of an aircraft underneath the body of an aircraft where uh, the loads is being uh, stored uh, for instance the baggage is where the baggage is being stored as well so this is uh, very important this is, this are the main four uh, forces acting on an aircraft however uh, drag force can be parasite or form Parasite drag uh, comprises of all the forces uh, that uh, slows an aircraft movement. Uh, this type of uh, force is not linked with the production of uh, lift. Now, for instance, the displacement of uh, aircraft, the displacement of air by the aircraft, and also uh, the turbulence generated in the airstream. While for the foam drag, uh, it is the portion of the parasite drag generated by the aircraft due to its shape and also the circulation of airflow. Now, for instance, the antenna and also the coils, uh, these are the parts that form these uh, actions. However, uh, ever since the beginning of human flights, a uh, pilot realizes a few moments before a uh, touchdown zone, it will be like suddenly the aircraft is not uh, willing to touch down zone. Uh, now this is uh, due to the air trapped uh, in between the wing and also uh, the landing surfaces. So uh, this, is, this phenomenon, uh, this uh, scenario is known as uh, the ground effect. So uh, you've got really careful at this moment uh, because anything can happen. So uh, for instance, uh, if you've been in, in a morning flight and also a uh, afternoon flight, you will realize uh, when the landing uh, is is happening in the morning, it's, it's, it's a bit uh, soft and also a uh, simple for the pilots. So you've got to realize in the afternoon uh, when, when the landing is taking place, it's a bit uh, bumpy because at that moment, this uh, real action is taking place. These forces are trying to uh, push the aircraft to keep ascending and not to allow it uh, to descend. So this is a crucial uh, point. So you've got to be really careful this moment. Furthermore, the axis of an aircraft are three imaginary lines passing through the center of gravity of an aircraft. Uh, the three the three axes pass, passes through the center of gravity at 90 degrees to each order. Now, uh, the, the study of the investigation of, of physics reveals that a body is free to rotate at its own uh, center of gravity. However, in aerodynamic terms, uh, the, the, the mathematical measure of an aircraft tendency to, to rotate around uh, its center of gravity is known as a uh, moment. However, moment uh, is said to be equal to the product of force applied and also uh, the distance at which force is applied as well. Now we have also the moment arm. The moment arm it is the distance from the datum to the force applied as well. So this is, these two things are very important, the moment and also the moment arm. So uh, each aircraft uh, handles uh, various essential tasks due to its response and also resistance to uh, control pressure on its own way. So for instance, the training aircraft is, is designed to quick respond to uh, control applications. Likewise, the, tr the transport aircraft is designed uh, to respond control to, uh, to pressure and also force uh, the load applied on the aircraft. So now uh, these features are, are designed into an aircraft uh, to facilitate uh, the main function or purpose of the aircraft by considering by considering the a certain stability and also a uh, maneuvering requirement. So this aircraft, especially modern aircrafts, are also uh, designed with these uh, features that enable the aircrafts in control uh, manner. The angle of attack is a great device uh, assisting in reducing the rate of uh, aviation accident now, angle of attack uh, indicators do mainly target the loss of control at, as it is the one of uh, the root cause of fatalities in the general and also commercial aviation. So, more than 25% more than 25 of accidents that normally occur in the general aviation are uh, normally occurs during the maneuvering phase of flight. This is the main uh, incident where, where the accident is liable to happen the, when uh, the pilot is maneuvering the aircraft. Now, for instance, the stall 
or, or even the spin scenarios. Aerodynamics, the maximum load factor is a proportion between lift and weight with a trigonometric uh, relationship. Load factor is measured in acceleration of gravity, uh, a force uh, equal to the force exerted by the gravity on a body at rest and also uh, indicates the force by which a body is subjected when it is accelerated. So this is a uh, very important, this is also part of the uh, aerodynamics of flight. Uh, the aircraft's uh, weight and balance data is an essential uh, information that a pilot uh, must uh, regularly re-evaluate it. So uh, any, any uh, modifications or equipment changes may uh, affect uh, the weight and balance data as well. That's what, now for instance, uh, if I have like three passengers and uh, I can only load uh, probably 100 gallons, Likewise, four passengers are seventy gallons. So this is amazing. It keep reducing. So that that's that is why it's very important for the pilots to frequently reevaluate the weight and balance data. In order to sustain an aircraft in flight, the pilot must comprehend the applications of the four major forces acting on an aircraft, and also at the same time understanding the aerodynamics of flight. How did, how did the design, uh, the load factors, weight, and also the gravity affect an aircraft during flight maneuvers from stalls uh, to high speed? Now the pilot will learn uh, how to control this. Will the, the pilot will learn how to control uh, the balance between these factors. So it's very important, inshallah, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, in our next class, I will be will be taking the flight control system, inshallah. So I hope you really enjoyed uh, today's class. Uh, please uh, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. Ladies and gentlemen, the aerodynamics is a broad uh, content. So I hope you really, you really enjoyed, uh, re really enjoyed today's video. Inshallah, in our next class, uh, we'll be taking the flight uh, controls. Uh, this is basically how the pilots uh, controls the aircraft's attitude and direction, and also the forces governing the aircraft. Inshallah. In the next video, don't forget to subscribe, like, or share. Shukran lakum, assalam.